Welcome to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you the all new Handy Blocks. A brand new STEM education robot that teaches you about programming as well as building a robot. Now the unique thing about this particular robot is the way it looks. It's actually got a screen built right into it. Meaning you can learn through education of a storytelling as well as RPG gaming. Now you literally do build it from the ground up, so it does teach you the whole thing about assembly. Now if you wanted your very own, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. Now this video here is sponsored by MyWiFi.tv, the best live TV application available for Android, OS X, iOS, and Windows. Check out their website now by clicking the link down below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what's on the inside. So this here is our box and it actually looks really, really impressive. Now as we kind of rotate the box on the back here, I'll show you that it says look at him go, color changing lights, record audio clips, and then you can display text on the screen. So let's go ahead and open this up. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so we have all these different boxes. Wow, these are a lot of components. So you get ourselves an assembly guide, uh, kind of showing you step by step how to go ahead and build this robot together. So these here are all the components. Uh, so this here is like our wire harness. So we got a bunch of different wires here, including our charging cable. And then over here we have some brackets. Everything is nicely padded, meaning everything is in the place where it's supposed to be. Uh, these here are servos. Uh, I was imagining them being like really tiny, but these are pretty decently sized servos. Wow. And then over here we have a few different portions of the robot. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so it's eyes, uh, you know, it looks like it has some LEDs back there. Actually, definitely very high quality stuff. Uh, let's put that to the side. And then we have some more body panels. Even these things have like graphics on them already pre-printed. This here is like the main hub itself. So it's actually quite heavy duty. You can actually see all the ports where the servos go to. And then we have ourselves a power button. So let's go ahead and try this out. All right, so it's saying internet request and uh, ooh, look, you can actually see the robot. So it's actually got like a, almost like a 3D atmosphere in here. So if you like rotate it, you'll see that the robot spins. So that is pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and build this robot and kind of follow the screen directions on here. And hopefully this all works out well. Alright, so this here is our final product and overall the build process wasn't really that bad. Uh, I did have a little trouble in terms of the orientation of the servos, but other than that it was actually quite simple. Uh, it does have a screen in here that explains to you step by step. So let's go ahead and turn this guy on and see what he's all about. So this kind of gives you an idea how the screen looks like as you're building it. So you can go ahead and rotate it. If you pinch you can zoom out. If you pinch in you can zoom in. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so uh, you know that's cool. He actually waved hi, uh, and you actually see the little cute little character in the middle here. So he's completely animated. Uh, you know you can interact with him. So if I touch him just like this, he'll like react to that as well. Now you have a few different key features on the side here, so you can like play games with it. You can like give him roses. You can feed it. So you know if you click on like this heart here, you'll see him like react to that. And then you can buy different things uh, and then you just you can give it to him and then he'll respond to that as well. Uh, this here is a feature that you know if you face the camera he can actually show you on the bottom what he sees. So I'm trying to line this up in a way where you guys can see what I see. All right so look at the bottom left. So it sees me, smiles, and it makes sad face. Mm, you can see it's crying right there or if I make a Oh, he actually animates it too. That's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and do a laughing one. <laughs> he does a little dance. <laughs> let's do angry. No. Ah. Okay, there. He's a happy one again. 
Alright, that's pretty cool. And then you also have a few different games as well. So if you click on play, uh, you have the assemble one, which we've seen, and then other games that you can always go ahead and download as they continuously update the robot. Uh, and then they have like missions and stuff like that. And then this here is coding. Now coding allows you to go ahead and create your own program. Um, so we'll go ahead and create a new project here. Uh, and then just kind of showing you all the different things here. So we have control. So you have a loop and time frig fragment. So if I went ahead and did like a time, I can go ahead and do like five seconds of a delay and then go to an event, meaning uh, if it sees me or if it hears a clap, well, it will actually do the clap first. If it, if it has a clap, it'll go ahead and do this action. Uh, it also has a wake up feature, meaning it goes with the voice. It has a face scan feature, which allows you to go ahead and detect a different uh, facial feature as well as a touch sensor. Now we can go ahead and create a voice. So we'll go ahead and um, we have a sound effect we could do. And then we have a record feature as well. So the record feature is going to be something that you can go ahead and create your own animations. If you go to light, uh, you can go ahead and animate the light. So we can do like an image on the screen. We can do a text on the screen. So in terms of the images goes, um, you can pick one up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do like a strawberry and hit confirm. And then for the text, I can type whatever I want. So we'll just say hello for now. Uh, so we'll just write hi actually, that's fine. We'll just write hi. And then uh, we can go back to light again. Uh, you can make the character blink. So we'll make them blink. And then we'll make them spin. We'll make him, ooh, there's just so many of them. Party, let's try party. Uh, and you can like, you know, change it and completely create your own functions. And then we have a bunch of different actions. So we'll go ahead and do like a left arm. Uh, we'll do a sidewalk. And then uh, we can raise one leg. Uh, we can do a split. Uh, we can make him like do a kick. We can move, move forward. You can do a lot of different functionalities there. So that's, that's, let's just say that's our code right there. If I hit play, so he won't animate until we clap, which is gonna look like this. The delay. Strawberry. Then it should have our text. There we go. Now it's got the eyes. The party one. That's awesome. And then the wave. <laughs> oh, the splits. <laughs> And yeah, there you have it. So that it itself is coding. So it's actually kind of fun, very easy to use. I love the fact that there's a screen on there so you can go ahead and like, you know, drag and drop as you please. I mean, click on back to Handy's home. And yeah, kind of gives you an idea of what Handy's about. Obviously, you know, they're gonna expand more on this where you can do missions and stuff of that nature. But I love the idea that it incorporates a character or almost like a living creature inside the screen that portrays the robot as a whole. Now, if you guys had any questions about handy blocks, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.